Welcome to 5 Minutes on Social Media Curation. Here are the facts. You work with a small marketing team, or you're a one-man band, and you've mainly been concentrating on building your followers on Facebook and Twitter. That's a great start, but surely you've noticed how much work it takes to keep them interested and engaged. Look around you. There's so much noise coming from promotional marketing. You must find yourself unfollowing companies who aren't producing relevant and well thought out content. And that makes you wonder how many people are unfollowing you for the same reason, doesn't it? So, how do you get engaging content that people want to share with each other? Well, if you don't have the team, time or money to produce it all yourself, then it's time for you to get to know the wondrous world of social media curation. When you think of curation, you probably think of museums or art galleries as traditionally that's where you'd find a curator. You're not wrong, social media curators act very much along the same lines as professional curators. However, they are using their expertise and keen eye to filter through content such as articles and videos, rather than artworks or artifacts. So why do we curate? Well, first of all, we curate to save on time and money. Sharing good content with your followers helps you create a good reputation with them and will definitely lead to more followers. If you're able to build a reputation of being a trendy news source, then you'll strengthen your brand and your community. You're probably already doing some form of curation. Every time you share a link that you think will pique the interest of your followers, you're curating content. We all know that the internet has a lot to offer, but how do we hunt down the best content efficiently? So, you're already sharing links. That's awesome. But have you been measuring your analytics to track your engagement? If not, you want to start through tracking your followers' responses so that you can see what kind of content they're interested in. And be sure to change it up. Not everyone has the same sense of humour, so play around with the types of content you're linking to. For instance, we're always amazed by the engagement numbers we get with our cat-related posts. It surprises us every time. Mixing up the humorous with the serious will also help you connect with a wider range of people. If certain issues are affecting your industry, link to them. You'll soon hone a sixth sense for the kind of content your followers are itching to read. If you're curating content without a content strategy, you're going to run into some issues, especially if there are a few people who are posting to your social media. A content strategy helps your team build a basic plan so that everyone who is involved with finding or producing content is on the same page. You don't want rogue staff promoting links that have no relation to your brand or damaging your brand because they're using the wrong language or tone of voice. Guidelines help to keep people on track. Some things to think about when you're building your content strategy are tone of voice, how to deal with negative feedback, key concerns your industry is facing, rules on language, i.e. profanity, goals and target to reach, and appropriate sites for content harvesting. Do you know why your followers follow you in the first place? To be informed. Say hello to the information age where everyone is out to get as much information as they possibly can. And of course we want the info we're interested in, but we don't have time to trawl through millions of websites. And this is where you come in with your excellent content curation. Feed your followers. By giving them the information they want, you're essentially strengthening your relationship with them. Even more importantly, you're setting yourself up as the vital link to the information they need. By linking to appropriate news, riveting articles and exciting happenings in your industry, you identify yourself as the best news source for your followers. When we look for content for Leanza, we don't use aggregator sites like Feedly and Scoop It, though a lot of marketers do. Sites like those are helpful, but we're more hands-on with the content we share, and we think this makes us stand out. I look for interesting stories by doing a Google search every morning under the news. I start with a vague search term like library, and once I find information that I think is interesting, I go hunting with targeted search terms to find backstories and other links. Searching for books, librarian, and other industry terms digs up stories that may not turn up under that initial search of library. I've also set up some of these keyword searches to be emailed to my Gmail accounts every day, which cuts the time that I have to spend looking when I'm in a hurry. 
Another great way to get good content is by following big names in business. For instance, in our Facebook feed, we receive information from sites such as ALA and Alia, and for quirky stories, we follow Librarian Wardrobe and many more. Good luck on your curation journey, and feel free to get in touch if you need any help or support from the Lianza office.